Hydrogen fuel cells that run hot may soon run cool. Here is what happened and why it matters. Researchers at Kyushu University created scandium-doped ceramic electrolytes that move protons quickly at only 300 degrees Celsius, a temperature sweet spot long viewed as the threshold for efficient, low-temperature, solid oxide fuel cells. By heavily doping barium stannate and barium titanate, the team formed extended SKO6 pathways inside the crystal lattice that act like soft, wide highways for protons. The materials hit conductivities above 0.01 Siemens per centimeter at 300 degrees, performance usually seen only at 600 to 700 degrees. Lower operating temperatures could enable cheaper stacks, simpler seals, smaller systems, and easier startups for hydrogen power in homes, vehicles, or backup generators. The concept may also lift low-temperature electrolyzers and hydrogen pumps. Challenges remain, including material stability under cycling, long-term degradation, and the cost and availability of scandium for large-scale deployment. Even so, the work overturns a long-standing trade-off that more dopants add carriers, but clog their path. It opens a practical route to compact, consumer-level proton ceramic devices that pair well with renewable hydrogen. A credible materials roadmap to 300-degree protonics could change the economics of hydrogen. If industry can source or substitute the dopant wisely, this moves from lab win to market impact.